Let's cut up through these trees. Funnel up spider, right there. Don't anybody move. Okay, it's hunkered down under those leaves. Hold on a second, I can't get my cube out. Okay. My hands are shaking. Okay. Got it. Yes, yes, look at that. Lid on. That is a big spider right there. Holy mackerel. Oh my goodness, okay. We got a Sydney funnel web. This is awesome, without question. All right, coming down. You don't want to drop the spider. I'm gonna take it out of the container. You guys are okay with that, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Now, we want to be really delicate and just move slow and methodically. Okay, wow, look at that defensive posture. That display basically says if you don't back up, you are getting bitten by some of the longest fangs of any creature here in Australia. Now, I'm gonna do something rather crazy right now. I'm gonna remove this plastic capsule, and I'm gonna keep myself in a position that if I need to, I can jump backwards. Here we go. Careful, careful, careful. That is about as close as I think I ever want to get to the most dangerous spider in the world. Let's talk about the venom that is inside this little beast. Now that venom is a neurotoxin and if you do not receive medical attention, you are bitten by a male Sydney funnel web spider, you are most likely, if not definitely, going to die. So definitely seek medical attention. Stop. Just chill. Chill for a second. You're really close to my face and I do not want to take a bite tonight. Getting bit on the face would be catastrophic. That is a living nightmare at its finest right there. And the way that you can easily identify the Sydney funnel web as compared to some of the other species we featured tonight is look at the thorax of that arachnid. It's glistening, it's shiny, it has virtually no fur on it. And those long spindly legs are very, very distinct when it comes to this species. Okay, we've got the spider in a pretty good position there. Now, when you look at the abdomen, it is rather light in color. And, oh, no, no, no. Too close to my hand. Stay. Stay. I want you to do the defense pose. There, like that. Now, you see how it will rear up with those front legs? What they'll often do is rear up and expose those fangs. And those fangs, ooh, okay, back a little bit. Stay. At this juncture, the spider's getting a little flighty. So we want to put as little stress on the arachnid as possible. There you go, big boy. Let's do that. OK, what we want to do is bring the spider back to civilization. Tomorrow morning, we will take it to the Australian Reptile Park, bring it to Kane, and find out, is it a male or is it a female? If it's a male, we have struck venom gold. And this spider's venom will be used to create an anti-venom that will save thousands of lives. OK, let's cap it up. Call it a night. Back up, back up, back up. Nice. We have got ourselves a Sydney funnel web spider. Awesome. Woo! The next morning, we arrive early at Australian Reptile Park. I will once again be working alongside arachnid expert Kane Christensen to determine if the specimen we have brought him is in fact a male Sydney funnel web spider. Come in. Hey, Kane. Hey, how you going? Welcome back. All right, so we've got another spider, and I am almost certain that this one is a male. Smaller abdomen, skinnier legs. Give us some good news. It's definitely a male Sydney funnel web. He's got his little mating spurs here, smaller abdomen and the thinner legs, as you okay. noticed. But extracting the venom from this one will in fact save lives. Yeah, this is the one we use to make the anti-venom from, the venom from this spider right here. Awesome, okay, now I'm pretty sure I remember the process, but I think what would probably be the best course of action would be for you to give me a refresher course yep. before I actually get in there and hands on with the spider. Yeah, definitely, we can do that. Okay. Find a female, milk that, then move on to the male. Perfect, let's do it. 
Only male spiders can be used to create life-saving anti-venom. But female venom does still have research properties. So Kane will demonstrate the milking procedure using one of his captive female spiders before I try my hand at milking the male. The first drops of venom you're gonna get from are usually the biggest and the most potent. And as they'll stand up, the fangs will come out and then you can just draw down this straight down the fangs. We start from the top, work our way down and you'll actually see the venom uh, dripping on the tips of the fangs. And that's what you do. Holding the uh, forceps there is also important. You don't want to rip them out and pull the funnel web out. Mm -hmm. But also by holding it there, she can't actually strike down and waste that venom on the bottom of the jar either. So by holding it just like this, we call it hovering. Just retouch them just at the front, in between, as they stand up. You can just draw that venom straight. You can actually see the venom going up in that pipette oh, yeah. just there. A few really good drops there. So now that I've watched you milk the female, I think that I'm in the position where I feel comfortable extracting venom from the male. The danger level is definitely increased at this point for myself. It is time to extract venom from the Sydney funnel web spider, and it does not look happy. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at those fangs. Yep. That's perfect. There we go. Jeez. It's hard to even talk when I'm doing this. There's those drops. Yes, 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 yes. Wow, those fangs are massive. They're huge, aren't they? That's it, I can see the venom drops down there. Oh, wow. It just bit down on that pipe. That was such incredible force. That was crazy. We've had them actually break the glass before Haven't they hit really? it that hard, yeah. Vacuuming up venom. Just a, another day in the office, right? That's right. So yeah, you just see just in there, that's the venom on the side, and then we'll flush that out with some acetic acid. We'll freeze dry, put it into a powdered form, into a crystallized form, and that's what we rehydrate. So yeah, because I can see it already looks like it's starting to dry within that. These pipettes are made specifically here, and they're silicon lined, mm -hmm. and it lets us flush the venom out a lot easier. It doesn't go up into the thick bit, it just stays here, and you can see it's going white. As that air is going past it, it's just drying it to the side for us and that makes it easier for it. So that's out. probably a pretty good venom yield right there. If you look at that, how many bites, that's not one bite from a male funnel web. That could be six or seven bites. So this pipette now is very, very dangerous as well. We have to be very careful of that. If you were to poke that inside your hand as well, that's seven bites worth of venom you're getting right there.